Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about slicer versus filters. Like in Power BI, we have this concept as a slicer as well as filter. Let's see some difference between these two type of features. Okay, for that purpose, I have imported this cells superstore data. So I've created a new page. Now, if you need this working file, please check the description section of this video and you will get the GitHub link from there. You can download the file. First, just create one simple report. Just select this table view. And in that table view, I'm going to select this category information, subcategory, cells. Okay, this is our simple report. First, start with the slicer. Here, uh, with all this visualization, here we have one visualization, which is called slicer. We are going to select this slicer. So you can observe the slicer is also behaving like a visualization only, where we need to add some field. Let me add this category information here. So these three categories are displaying here with some checkbox. For this slicer, we have different properties. If you go to this format section, here we have this slicer settings where this slicer can be represented as a vertical way. Or if you want, you can select this horizontal one also. So it will be displayed like this a button. Let me switch back to this vertical way. Okay. Now we'll see this slicer header, which is also there. Okay, we miss one thing. In the slicer setting, we have this selection one, which is very important. By default, this multi-select with the control key, okay? Like if I'm going to select one furniture, okay? Now the data will be displayed for this furniture in the corresponding table, okay? So it is dynamically filtering this report. Now if I want to select another office supplier, I'm not able to do that because whenever I'm selecting this office supplies box, this report has been refreshed based on this office supplier. So multi-select is not working based on this only click format. What we all need to do? Just press the control key and then click on furniture. Now we can find out for this furniture and office supplies, this report has been reflected. Okay, but sometimes we are not able to remember that we need to press the control key and maybe you need to tell the user okay now you need to press the control key which is not possible for that purpose just switch off this one now if you want to select this one it will be automatically reflected for example i'm selecting this technology so data will be reflected based on this multi-selected parameters now, if you want to go for some select all information just on this, then manually you don't have to select all the fields, just select all by default automatically all the fields will be selected. Now, if you want to go for some single select, just select this one, all other features will be gone, only this single select that means at a time you can select only one category and the report will be displayed accordingly. So from this example, you can understand this slicer is helping to dynamically filter this report. But sometimes we can have some reports where we need to put some static filter condition. How will you do that? Let me create one new page here. And in the similar way, I'm selecting this table view and this category, subcategory and this cells view. Okay, now this is our filter section. Here you can observe we have three type of filter area. One for this visuals. What does it mean by this? 
visual means for only for this table view okay one for this page that means only for this page 3 not for page 2 not for page 1 and filters on all pages like whatever filter condition we are going to use here it will be reflected for all the pages so we have three level of filter condition visual page wise single page wise and all page wise okay so let us see if i am going to select one filter condition from the visual perspective for example furniture so my report is fixed every time it will display the data only for furniture not for office supplies or technology now i've just removed this filter condition from here uh, for this filter on this page let us add something ship mode here and for this ship mode we have this first class same day and all this thing so if i'm just selecting this first class my data will be reflected based on that if you want to verify how will you do that just select this visual click on this ship mode here you can observe we have data only for first class now whenever i am going to create any other report in this page always the data will be reflected for this ship mode do you want to verify that let me select this column chart view and this category information and this sales information and this ship mode in the legend section here you can observe only we are getting this first class okay so this is our page wise visualization now if you want to add something all page wise how will you do that let me remove this one first and in the all page wise i am going to add this ship mode in this all page wise and i'm selecting this first class so here also these two reports are reflected based on this first class let me go back to this page 2 and in the page 2 if you want to verify the record just select this one and you can observe this first class ship mode is available now also here in the page 2 section you can find out this ship mode first class is displaying okay so i hope from this video you can understand what is slicer when we need to use the slicer and what is filter and how many type of filters we have in power bi when to use all those filters and how to use all those filters so from a single video you can understand all this type of features of power bi now if you need this working file please check the description section of this video and you will get the github link from there you can download this file and if you like this video please share with your friend and subscribe to my channel thank you thanks for watching